Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and as you can see from the whiteboard behind me, I just got finished recording a video on animatronic salvage. And literally, I finished it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna chill for a little bit, then I'll actually get to editing it. So, you know, I, lo I load up YouTube, ready to watch one of my favorite content creators, and oh, oh boy, am I greeted with a video. I'm greeted with the trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's VR non-VR game. I don't know what that is, I it the thumbnail, it has Christmas lights on it, it's got the TV screen, so I'm going to be doing a reaction to it and an analysis of it. It was literally uploaded 8 minutes ago <laughs> when I saw it, so this is brand new, fresh content from Steel World Studios. So let's not waste any more time and let's just jump into it. Okay, the Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted non-VR teaser, let's give it a watch. Okay, TV screen with some bells, some ornaments, some lights, fireplace, something's gonna go south. Someone's walking in the snow, more, more glitch trap! More glitch trap. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's help wanted. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! That's so funny. Hey. Oh my god. Is that a freaking jump scare? December 17th. VR not required. Oh my freaking god. That, that is dope. Alright, so. Let's do a little bit of a breakdown here. So. Okay, start off. This is very simple. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so it's just playing like regular Christmas mu music. Then we hear footsteps in the snow. And it's Glitch Trap. So he's here. He's doing his dance. He's waving to us. I don't know if this Christmas stuff is just for... Um, is just like to promote the game in the holiday season. Or if we are actually going to get a holiday update for Help Wanted. I don't have to say FNAF VR anymore. I just have to say Help Wanted. Oh, this is so cool. Then it glitches out. FNAF VR Help Wanted. Now just FNAF Help Wanted. I th I, th I said it was so funny because if you guys remember, um, doing like normal teaser trailers for FNAF VR Help Wanted, um, it would show Five Nights at Freddy's VR and then Help Wanted would flicker in. But now here... <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted is here, and then VR flickers out. I find that awesome. That's such a cool feature. Or well, that's such a nice touch to it. And then we get freaking Glitch Trap staring into our soul, right? December 17th, guys. December 17th. It is the 13th. This releases in four freaking days. Like, what? Obviously. Alright, guys, listen. <laughs> There has been so much goddamn news, and like, I'm going all out here, there's been so much goddamn FNAF stuff recently, and I could not be happier. FNAF AR, then we had Freddy in Space 2, before AR we had Curse of Dreadbear, before that we had normal VR Help Wanted, and now in four freaking days, we have FNAF Help Wanted non-VR. And more platforms to be announced soon. So right now, it's only on Steam and PlayStation. Um, PlayStation? Wait, that's... What? Hang on a second. <laughs> Wait a s PlayStation? I mean, that makes sense, because FNAF VR is on the PlayStation. It's on the PSVR. Um, but PlayStation? Really? That's kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. And then Steam, obviously. So, if you guys want, I will definitely, definitely do a Let's Play on this. Because, yes, it is still help wanted but it's gonna be so so different um i remember um when i was done with um my playthrough of fnaf VR, i obviously went back and i saw everyone else's reactions and like since i know what it's like to be playing fnaf vr in ar or not ar sorry in vr and then seeing other people watch it or play it and i'm watching it just on a 2d screen it's so 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 different so I'm very intrigued to see what they're going to be doing with this non-VR teaser, or just this non-VR game. So, 
This is, this is absolutely freaking insane. This is in freaking insane. I was not expecting this. I mean, obviously we were expecting something because Steel Wool uh, left a comment on someone's post saying that they had help wanted news coming very soon, as in like super, super soon. So this has been what Steel Wool Studios and Lionsgate Games have been working on for probably the past few months, um, which is insane to think about. Um, that either they were working on this during Curse of Dreadbear, or they are, they managed to get this done in like two months. Less than two months. Which is just... That's so insane. That is so, 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 so insane. And then we get VR not required. Um, yeah, and that's really it for this teaser trailer. So, I'm so excited. Um, something I want to know is whether or not we are going to be getting a holiday update because this does look and i would absolutely love that i would freak, i would love that santa claus freddy that, that would be awesome um yes yeah, so i have a few questions obviously um whether or not curse of dreadbear is going to be um a dlc for this um non-vr game or if it's going to be already built in i don't really know i see it going either way but honestly, making people buy both would be kind of stupid. Um, but then again, I'm guessing, right? I don't know why I asked this question, because it makes sense. If you've bought Curse of Dreadbear, it will probably already be on the non-VR version. Because, you know, it's linked to your PlayStation account and it's linked to your Steam account. Um, Oculus owners, it's probably not going to be released on on the Oculus Store because the Oculus Store is literally only for VR games. So this is apparently only going to be on Steam and PlayStation, but it is coming to more platforms very, very soon. Something else worth noting that I kind of glimpsed over and stopped talking about was the return of Glitch Trap, boys. Like, Glitch Trap is actually going to be coming back. Um, and it seems like if, if this is a new update, if this truly is a holiday update, we're going to be getting an, an explanation to not only where the freak we are, if we're outside, then Glitch Trap has somehow managed to escape, um, I guess in the bad ending when he possesses our body, or if this is built in content, then this just straight up is not the end of Glitch Trap, or if this is really only promotional material, but I don't know, I feel like this just wouldn't be something they would add in for promotional material, you know? Clearly, 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 there's gotta be something else here, right? <laughs> right? They wouldn't make models for, oh wait, I, I just realized you can see his reflection in, in the ornaments. That's a great touch, steel wall, good, like, can we, can, honestly and truly, can we just get a round of applause for Steel Wool? Like, they have been working their absolute butt off for this game. It's not even a year old. And they've released DLC and a non-VR version of the game. And, and like, loads of different updates as well, like the Withers. They've just been absolutely incredible. And Steel Wool, you are so, 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 so amazing. <laughs> I'm not even joking, you guys are absolutely incredible. How do you do it? <laughs> uh, but going back to Ghost Trap, obviously this isn't the end of him. Because like I was saying, there's no way this is just promotional material. They wouldn't go through the trouble of making this for promotional material. That, like, that just doesn't make any sense. If they were going to make promotional material for a non-VR game, they would release some gameplay trailers. Or like, just some sort of... Um, way to signify that it is truly a non-VR game, but right now, it seems like when we got that Curse of Dreadbear uh, teaser trailer, like we get the graveyard, you know, the spooky setting, it does seem like this is hinting towards some sort of holiday theme for FNAF Help Wanted. Um, most likely both, I don't see, I don't see a reason why they would give a holiday update to just, just one or the other, like that doesn't make any sense, so this is just, honestly guys, Get freaking hyped. All you people out there, get excited. Get absolutely excited because I remember reading the comments on my, um, uh, like all the way back when FNAF VR, like, was getting released and so many people were like, oh, you know, I wish I could experience it because it looks 
it looks so so good and I as you guys may or may not have remembered especially for these newcomers who don't know I actually had to pay like one and a half grand to get a PC and headset so I could play Help Wanted for the channel but now now anyone can play it basically you don't need a headset to play it you can just play it just on your computer which is crazy to think about. I want to know. I'm really intrigued. I want to know what's up. So, December 17th. That's a freaking Tuesday. Why Why would you guys release it on a Tuesday? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. If you guys do want to see a, um, a, um, a let's play of this non-VR game, I would really, 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 excuse me, um, enjoy that. As long as I don't have to pay for it again. Um... Because I should already have it. Because, you know, I've bought the freaking game, so I should already have it. So, if I do have to pay for it, probably won't make a video on it. But if I already have it in my possession, then I'll most likely um, do a Let's Play on it. So, that's really it. That's really, really it. Um, I just want to see that... Yeah, that jump scare, man. Glitchtrap, he's he's coming back. Glitchtrap, he's, he's coming back. Like he always does. So... Thank everyone so much for watching. Remember December, December 17th. So, I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Get hyped, boys. This is just... Oh my god, this is insane. I'm so, so excited.